How's it going, YouTube? Chris here in my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. Uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the announcement that came a few weeks ago about Best Buy stopping, you know, selling physical media in early 2024. Um, somebody said that in my last video, hey, they thought that I was going to talk about it. And uh, I had thought about doing some videos on it, and I just wanted to wait. And uh, so now I think I'll just kind of, we'll just have a little discussion about it. Um, I know we've seen in a lot of our main retailers of them downsizing all physical media. Uh, my, my local Walmart used to have uh, very long aisles, and now they have uh, basically an end cap, a half aisle, and a quarter of a aisle and that's it and a lot of you we don't get any uh like new release of older movies it, the only movies that they really get is new releases um you know current movies so that is what my local walmart uh there's one down a little further in the next town over uh they have a little bigger selection and then in uh, two stores in North Carolina, they have a pretty decent selection, and that's my wall. That's my my WalMarts that I, I that I could go to. It's four within a twenty five mile radius. Um, but they have downsized a lot, and I think we know that Target uh, is downsized. I thought they were quitting, honestly, but. Uh, I, I need to research that. I know they said that, you know, they were selling all the movies for just dirt cheap. And I, di I didn't buy any, of course. But uh, but I know you go into stores and they used to have four or five aisles, end caps, uh, standalone stuff. And uh, and it's just, it's withered away to, to hardly nothing. So, and then, of course, we have Best Buy. Best Buy. I remember going to the stores and you could look for hours at the movies that they had. And that was every Best Buy store, every single one of them. And, uh, and it has literally, uh, my local Best Buy, which is about 45 minutes away, um, they just had four or five. I mean, it was just long aisles. They had standalone, uh, displays and, they had them in the. They had, actually had 4K displays in the TV section, not with the movies. So, and then they had the big new release thing up at the front of the store. I mean, and now it's basically they just have uh, they have one aisle. It turns at an L, and I think they've done away with that. So it's the front and back of one aisle, and they have a couple little standalone display so they're they're with the down to nothing so we we kind of figured something was going to happen but the announcement um really that they were going to stop selling physical media kind of kind of shocked me now i tried to do some research and i wanted to see uh what these retailers uh how much of the of the pie of the general sales each like wall your tops gonna be like amazon walmart and of course best buy and then you got your smaller ones um and i wanted to see who and i think i'd, I'd heard somewhere i think walmart was like the top but I, i'm i'm going off just trying to go off memory so i don't have any of the data in front of me but um i did see something today i think from first quarter 2022 the first quarter of 2023 uh the, the actual sales had dipped from like 1.5 billion to 800 and something million i think that was what i read like I said, i'm going off memory um so i mean sales have been down but it's it's really hard for me to bleed that because dog on it look i'm on these i'm on home theater groups and dvd groups and 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 people are buying movies. I mean, they are buying movies. But if you look at what these the uh, I don't know if it's the movie studios or or like Best Buy and stuff. These movies, 
they were on a rapid descent in price. I mean, you was getting you could get new 4K releases for twenty five dollars and under, and those same movies now are thirty five dollar or at least thirty dollars and up. So uh, the prices have jumped, and I and I understand the economy's bad. Inflation has took off, and everything has has, has increased. And, and you know, uh, would it cost you more to go to the grocery store, to the gas station, um, to buy necessities and stuff? You know, maybe that's why the little bit of decline in sales for DVDs, because uh, you know, people has to make a decision. Hey, am I gonna get groceries this week, or am I gonna buy these five movies that are coming out this week? That's gonna cost me almost two hundred dollars. I mean, I have to look at stuff like that. I bought I bought two movies yesterday, uh, and I wanted more, and but I but I only bought two. I bought I bought Blue Beetle and uh, uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, there I, there was more that came out that I wanted, but hey, I can't I can't get them right now. And there's some months, uh, some weeks that there's I'm sitting there looking. I was like, there's six movies coming out that day that I want. You know, people has to. Uh, I mean, some people can afford to do that stuff. I mean, a lot of people can't, and I'm and I'm one of them. Uh, things have just been tight. Uh, so, getting back to Best Buy, uh, I the majority of my collection, the majority of my collection, and I and I haven't counted them. I need to count them, but I know I'm pushing at least fifteen, sixteen hundred movies, four uh, K mostly. Blu-ray and a few DVDs, and the vast majority of those come from Best Buy, and some come from Amazon, and some come from Walmart. I've got a few from Target, um, so it was it's really sad to hear that Best Buy was going to do that. Um, I'd go in Best Buy. Uh, I'm not I'm not looking at speakers. I'm not looking at uh, refrigerators. I mean, I the majority of the time that I go to Best Buy. I go, to the movies, and that's all I look at, and then out the door it goes. So, if they're gonna quit selling movies, what I need to go to Best Buy for? You know, I'm not in the market for another TV. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a receiver or processor. I mean, because my we don't have a Magnolia here uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. There's a Magnolia. Myrtle Beach has a Magnolia uh, store, um, but other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just. I don't I don't look at stuff like that. So uh really, really, really shocked that they are gonna stop selling uh these movies and uh it's 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 really sad. Um so hopefully Walmart will kind of you know maybe pick up its pace again uh and see that there's I mean people still want you know the biggest seller in physical media is still DVD. You know, and of course we got we got Blu-ray and we got 4K, but the biggest sellers, and I know, I, and, and it's a big chunk of the pie. You know, you got a pie chart, and the the, uh, the percentage of of movies sold are are DVD, and then a big percentage is Blu-ray, and there's a very small margin for the 4K. Um, and that, and that, and that's sad because 4K is a superior um, it's a superior format, and and I like it. And I don't think uh, they need to try to bring any other kind of uh, uh, other disc out when, you know, the, the current format is kind of struggling, so to speak, uh, in sales. But uh, I hadn't heard anything. I mean, I don't think we need 8K movies. I mean, it might be cool. But, I mean, 8K is to me is, is a long ways out, if it ever amounts to anything. I don't, I don't know. Um, so... Um, if Walmart decides to quit selling physical media, I don't know if, if, if these movie studios and retailers would, would continue to, uh, make physical media. It's just, just, just maybe my opinion. I mean, Amazon probably does pretty good. I don't, I, like I said, I wanted to see, uh, in sales, how much Amazon sells per year and how much Walmart sells per year and Best Buy and Target and, you know, some smaller chains, um. But I tell you, somebody who does have a big selection of, of movies, and that's Barnes and Nobles. But uh, if you've ever been in the Barnes and Nobles, uh, ain't no way I'm paying that much for them movies. I mean, they have those 
they have just regular, uh, let's just say, uh, Blue Beetle that just come out. It was twenty nine ninety five at Walmart. It was actually thirty something dollars at Best Buy. So it was more at Best Buy. Um, I guarantee you, you go to Barnes and Noble to pick up that four K if they had it. It'd be like sixty bucks. I mean, it's that's ridiculous, man. Uh, but hey, if if everybody quits selling physical media and people want it bad enough, they'll pay for it. I I, I can tell you that. Um, so. Guys, it's just it's 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 very disappointing uh, because I'm all about physical media and I love physical media. Uh, I've had I had a very large collection of DVDs that I still wish I had. I've covered that in another video. Uh, I had a lot of Blu-rays at one time also. Yeah, I still wish I had this stuff. Uh, knowing what I know today, I'd have never done what I've done. But that's that's neither here nor there. Um. Yeah, if I still had what I had back then, plus what I have now, I'd probably be pushing four thousand movies. I I wouldn't honestly, I wouldn't have where to put them. But uh, and I'm and I'm and I'm getting close <laughs> now. Uh, I don't I don't really have anywhere to put them, but uh, I'm going to figure out something. Um, and that's another thing. Uh, I mean, I can touch on this, and I thought about doing a video on that too. Uh, like this is a PDC. I was never I was never into there's media servers, media players. Uh, people always say, hey, man, you need to do a Plex. Hey, I, I got a, a a hard drive. I got Plex set up. Uh, people gave me movies, and I really appreciate that. But I just, I mean, and, it's, and, they, and you do it, and you want it because it's convenient. That's what streaming has done. It's convenient. It's com very convenient, but it's actually hurt physical media. Uh, streaming's... I don't think streaming will ever be as good as physical media uh, because they compress it, they put it online, and you you, have, uh, you don't have lossless video. It's just compressed, and it's, it it sucks. I mean, I can I can I can honestly, if I'm just sitting here, and I'm probably going to turn on the movie here in a little bit. And I'm relaxing because I've been working. I'll be working about seventy hours this week come Saturday. Um, so if I'm just going to turn on the movie, I turn on the movie. I just kick back and relax. I can click off that. I can turn another movie on. It's convenient. But my sister came down uh, to visit yesterday, and she's she she loves home theater. She loves it. She don't have. She's got a little setup in her living room that's pretty cool, but she don't have this. And this is what she wants. So, well, when I'm demoing, I ain't doing streaming. I got. I got I'll go. I'll, I'll be right back. I go get my go-to movies, and I put them in. And people sit there with their mouth dropped open. And it's just, just how it is. You can get that effect on streaming, but you're not going to get the same effect. I mean, it's just it's just not the same. So it's 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 disturbing uh, that Best Buy is going to say, hey, we're done. We're not going to sell physical media anymore. Sad, sad, sad. But what I was going to say about the, the PD stuff, um, I was never into... And I thought about it, and I priced them, and I started to buy one. But now they're gonna, they're bankrupt or whatever. They're closing the doors. Now you and, and they're gonna try to make a way where you can still access your stuff. But that is why I don't like that type of stuff. That is the very reason I don't like that type of stuff. Listen, I bought them physical media discs, and they in my in my on my shelves in my living room. They ain't going nowhere. It don't matter what they do. I can still play them movies. I've got 58 movies on iTunes. If if Apple, for some strange reason, goes bankrupt, which I don't think they will, but if some strange reason they go bankrupt, I'm going to lose them 58 movies. That's just, just how it is. Um, if, if there's a movie that I want to watch, I guarantee you, you can go to stream, you can look all through there, and I'm like, it ain't there. I've done that before. I, I, I just I didn't feel like getting up. I was sitting in the living room. I was like, "Hey, let, let's see if I can find this movie." And you can't find it, so I end up having to end up getting up, going to my shelf, pulling the disc out, and putting it in. I mean, that's 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 streaming for you. That's why I don't like it. I I like it, but I don't like it. Okay. Um. So let's let's all hope that Walmart 
stays the course, even though it's, it's crap trying to get anything in the stores, it seems like. Uh, like I said, I don't shop, shop at Target a whole lot, so Target ain't even uh, a concern, so to speak, um, because I don't really go to Target. Uh, the closest Target to me is 45 minutes away, and that's where Best Buy is at. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's in the same the general vicinity of the same parking lot uh, at the mall. So I don't worry about Target so much. Uh, but Walmart, I do worry about. If Walmart decides they're going to pull the plug, I think that's going to... I really think that'll kill physical media. It will. I mean, you may have uh, these boutique labels, like I guess you was a Studio Canal. Uh, I don't know. If, can you can you buy straight from them? I've never have. Uh, but I know you can from Arrow. Uh, Arrow Video and some of these other uh, places. I don't I don't really buy from them. Uh, I've looked on Arrow. I have an account there. I was going to order some stuff, and I ended up ordering somewhere else and got it cheaper. It is what it is. But, I mean, you know, maybe you'll see uh, some of these places pop up to try to, um, you know, pick up the slack, so to speak. Uh, I know when Netflix decided that they were going to quit with the uh, physical media, uh, I mean, I mean, it was kind of cool. I mean, they, I mean, they hit the ground running when DVD first come out, and with this rental thing, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't, I don't believe I ever did that. Uh, but Netflix has is, is, is come a long way, and they have. Uh, uh, went in a whole different direction with what they got. I mean, I really, I really like Netflix. I mean, they have all these movies and uh, different stuff that they uh, they have. So, um, you know, with them stopping, I mean, maybe that kind of uh, hurt hurt DVD sales a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but then, you know, Best Buy is going to uh, put a put a dent in uh, kind of hurting the stuff, but. Uh, I, I'm telling you, if Walmart decides to pull the plug, I think, I think it's done. I, I, that's that's just me personally. Uh, I think I think they'll be done because you know Walmart's one of the biggest retailers in the world, and uh, and they have a lot of pull. They do. They have a lot of pull. So uh, let's hope they stay the course on that. So uh, my goal, uh, I mean, as much as I love physical media, uh, like holding in my hand and and everything. I, I'm probably going to try to save up my coins. And it's going to take a lot of coins. And I'm going. I'm going to buy me a kaleidoscope. Uh, uh, me and my sister was talking about that. She wants one, and uh, she said, "Well, I can go buy one right now." I said, "Well, I know you can, but I, 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 ain't, I ain't got it like that." Um, so um, I do like the convenience of kaleidoscope. You get the absolute. I uh, could be better quality than the 4K disc um, because, you know, they can have the full size file. If it's a 120 uh, megabytes or whatever it is, uh, uh, gigabytes or, or disc, it should be gigabytes. Uh, if, if you have a file that's like that, you know, they're compressing it to put it on that 4K disc because they don't have, what, what is it, 100 gigabytes? So, uh, yeah, I mean, Kaleidoscape, and it's expensive. I mean, you got, I think, their cheapest uh set up with the with the player and the, the hard drive. I think it's like 10 grand. Whew, that is that's a hard pill to swallow to drop 10 grand in something and just watch movies. But um uh I hear I see a lot of people on Facebook and you know that stuff's made for the rich. Well a lot, a lot of this stuff is made for the rich. But um uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll uh uh, you know, may, maybe they'll drop the price one day or or something. I, I don't I don't know I don't know what the answer is, but I do. Uh, I think a lot of Kaleidoscape. I like I like it. Uh, I remember when I first saw Kaleidoscape when I think Blu-ray had 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 been out been out a little while, and uh, I think at that time, I don't I don't I don't remember if you had to. As you could download it from their 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 business, their servers, and put it on yours. I think you actually had to take the disc and and rip it to the thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I w I wasn't even in home theater at that time. But I remember stopping. I was like, I ain't 
you know, we were at the church cult, whatever, whatever we was at. So I just happened to be uh, at audio advice and I, I, I my, my kids were small and uh, we went in there and they had a theater room set up and it was, uh, if you wonder what that noise is, my son's getting his motorcycle out of the garage. Uh, so, um, uh, we went in there and, you know, when Blu-ray first come out, the, the, the hard drive, uh, the, the Blu-ray players took so long for the disc to load up and start. Well, they just got in there and they hit this button and everything popped up. I was like, what in the world is that? Oh, that's Kaleidoscape. And look what it can do. And they hit the movie and the movie started just like I said. I mean, I was blown away. I had never seen nothing like that before. I didn't know anything like that existed. So um, it's been around a while. I think my sister said they did go bankrupt one time and uh, somebody else bought them. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so that's kind of scary too. I mean, it's scary with anything uh, that you buy that may be on their cloud or their server that what if something happens to them, you lost everything you just bought. And movies can and are expensive. So uh that that is that is the gamble that we do uh with any of this type of stuff. I mean and and the, the way this a surefire way is is to buy physical media. But I mean I I'm still gonna buy physical media. I got I got my list made up of what I'm gonna buy and, and stuff like that. Um but it may come to a day to where <laughs> we ain't gonna have nothing to buy. And I hope that's not the case. I really do. But I am looking at alternatives. I don't think I want any of these other media players. Uh, I think there's just some uh, new ones just coming out. This, I mean, maybe some of these other companies is trying to capitalize on uh, as a PD. Uh, I think I, I think I seen something about Kaleidoscape was going to try to help some of the uh, Zipedi owners. Uh, I mean, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know all the details. I just I just see things and I just kind of uh i read over it and i keep going uh so um i don't know guys I, I don't know what the answer is i don't know what the future holds i really don't uh with physical media uh i i it just broke my heart because i mean guys we all like best buy uh well i, I in the pa honestly in the past year i have disliked best buy because you know i have a best buy credit card uh you used to get rewards and because you had the, uh, you were the member, gold member, whatever the crap that was. Oh man, you get all these perks, and and we're gonna ship you this movie free, and we're gonna do this. Every movie was shipped free, and all, all and then they just kind of changed everything. I want you to buy uh, another yearly subscription to some crap, and then they jacked from when they said we're gonna quit doing this, the the movies went up about five to ten dollars. I mean. It's it's ridiculous, man. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think I just, I don't like what Best Buy is doing. But I do like their steel books. I really do. And, uh, and guys, I, 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 you think about this too now. Um, we, we, you know, Disney has, has just started putting out their, uh, their series. Man, Loki. Hey, we got Loki season one. We got, one division coming. We got the Mandalorian one and two, season one and two. And uh was there something was there anything else or was that it? I can't remember. But anyway, I mean that's that think that's freaking awesome. I've got Loki. I'm getting one division. And I'm gonna I'm getting the Mandalorians when they come out. I mean, I think that is well. Oh, we got Prey. Well, Prey was from Hulu, which is still part of Disney. I think that's awesome. And see Disney, uh I think Bob Iger said that, you know, when he took back over, and I don't know all the details of stuff, but I mean, he said, you know, hey, we're going to kind of step up our, our uh, uh, our physical media game. Hey, they have touched on, they got all this, all these backlog of movies. Hey, hey, give it to us. Give it to us. Uh, we want it. And I don't care who sells it to us. It could be Amazon. It could be Walmart. It ain't going to be Best Buy. But uh, so, I mean, I don't. I think we're fine as long as Walmart don't don't decide they were going to pull a hokey pokey on us. I think we're going to be fine. 
So, guys, I've rambled on. I, this has been a long video. Uh, I knew it would be a long discussion. Uh, I need to start doing some lives, man, and we can just have a discussion. I'd like to get some other people, maybe do a podcast or something to talk about physical media. But uh, oh, I, uh, I saw Jeff from Films at Home. He posted something on Facebook and on Instagram today. It was kind of interesting. It showed the different streaming services, how many movies they have available to watch. And it was like, this now 1,300, this now 1,000, this now 3,000, 4,000. And then it said uh, Blu-ray was, I can't remember exactly, it was like 40, 50,000. I can't remember. DVD, 300 or 400 and some thousand. And he said, that's why we still need to have physical media. Ah agree a million percent so guys i mean there's movies there's actually movies that you can't even get on dvd there's movies that that, that, that you can't get on streaming so i mean you got to have I, I don't know what the answer is well they don't need to do away with physical media so uh uh best buy uh, uh boo on you <laughs> i just i'm i'm, I'm kind of upset at them so uh, like i said i think we're gonna be fine as long as walmart don't pull out amazon uh, keep up their their good work, but I do. I, I am gonna miss some of the steel books that that uh, Best Buy had. Cause they had Best Buy exclusives, but I've seen Amazon start selling them. So I think they kind of uh, uh, whoever was making them for Best Buy, I think they may have released it where they can uh, you know sell them at like Amazon or whatever. I don't I don't know all the story on that, but um, uh, Walmart. I see Walmart has their steel books. I bought some. I bought. I, crap ton of blu-rays for five bucks because they had them in the five buck bin um you can get i've said i've got some from amazon that you know were basically best buy um i've got some from target uh target had schindler's list 4k steel book and i got it i bought it probably uh golly probably a year and a half two years ago however long it's been and I think Best Buy was just about to release it. So I don't know if they didn't already have it or whatever. But anyway, I've had it for a while from Target. So, and I, I, I think I think we're going to be fine, guys. But it, it is disturbing, yeah, to say the least, and uh, disappointing. So, guys, I'm tired. <laughs> and... Uh, I, I'm 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 just gonna kick back and relax, and then get ready for the another long few days till I can get a day off. So uh, that's my video. Hey, drop down in the comments. Tell tell me what you guys think about about this whole situation. I, I really um, I want to hear what you got to say. I know most of you probably agree with me that you know they shouldn't shouldn't drop physical media, but who knows? You know who knows what the future is? I mean, I have no idea. Uh, so, you know, I, I still want physical media. And uh, if I bought a color out of Scape, here's a question for me that I'm opposed to y'all. And I'm going to give you my answer because I already know the answer. Um, if I bought a color out of Scape, would I still buy physical media? Yeah, I would. It's, it's, it's double dipping. And I wouldn't say I would buy every single title, but there would be certain titles that I probably would buy now what those are i have no idea i have no idea um but it i probably would some i would buy i would i might would say okay i'm buying this on physical media and these movies over here i won't but i'm just gonna get them on kaleidoscape that that's probably how i would work it out that's probably how i would work it out so guys that's uh that's my video um just let me know what you guys think and uh I may do uh, a full video on these media players and, and my thoughts. I gave them my thoughts on it, but I can uh, go in a little more in depth uh, about these media players. Uh, I, I No, I was going to say something else, but I'll save that for another video. Some things that I do like about the media players over here versus what Kaleidoscape has. There's, there's big differences uh, there. and. Uh, but anyway, I'll cover that in another video. So, guys, just uh, we'll catch you again. <laughs> like I said, I am so tired. But we'll, we'll catch you again real soon. Uh, we'll do another video uh, maybe tomorrow, Friday, 
something tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah. So we'll do one in the next couple of days. Uh, well, I'll do something about these uh, media players. And we'll have a discussion about that too. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Okay. So guys, y'all have a good day. And uh, we'll catch you again in the next video.